Now it's time to fit the motor. I made this uh, template out of paper and uh, I used this uh, B-metal drill to make the hole and fit the, the pattern on the motor. So I will fit that one close to this uh, chain case on the inside. And then I will drill a hole in this chain, chain case from the inside and also so I can bolt it. So uh, it will fit, fit like that, but the plate is on the inside. And uh, I'll be doing a lot of thinking now how I will design this one because I want to make something radical. And uh, uh, in winter, if it's uh, quite heavy load to drive this, I will have approximately, with the batteries I will use, I will have approximately half an hour ride. So what I will do, I will remove this framework for the seating. I will have a total of flat from here, nothing. And I will uh, remake this support for the steering column down straight here. And I will build the box so I can fit the, the, the batteries on the other side of the motor and the controller Oops. on top here. So I will have everything very concentrated into this uh, compartment here. And uh, then I also use the, the, the heating to heat the batteries from the controller and also the, the motor. So I can, uh, if it would if cold in winter, it would give better performance for the batteries. So I will place the batteries uh, as open as I can uh, behind the motor, controller on top of the motor, and I will build a small compartment. I will have another steering column, it's more bended, it fits better if I do that kind of construction. And uh, then I will have this totally flat on the back side. And then I think I will use uh, yes, steps I can put my feet here with some kind of construction. I'm not sure yet. That's my plan. My initial plan was to use the I mean, 1616 motor, but um, the problem is battery. I will uh, need a huge battery pack to feed that uh, big motor, so I will use this uh, ME. 15, 11, 15 instead, and uh, this is also fan cooled, so I can <coughs> use this to heat my batteries. Now the motor is in place, and I also fitted, uh, at least tried to figure out how to make this transmission. Um, my plan is to use a, a chain, and I have to machine this one so I can get this sprocket. This is uh, 34, I think I will go for 35, it's better. And uh, I'll also use this tensioner for the chain, the original. And I, I, I think that will be quite good. Here you can see I, I, I've cut the, the seating off because it's only 30 minutes of riding time, approximately. And uh, I think the maneuverability will be quite good. And uh, as it's only 30 minutes drive, you don't need the seating. That's my thoughts anyway. I will change angle on the track band in the rear. So I will move this uh, section a bit forward. So I get a better angle so it's uh, correct to how the the skid moves. Well, I test fitted the, the battery pack clean. I removed it out of the box to see how it fits and how big I have to make the, the compartment. And uh, it's no problem to get everything to fit in there. There's a lot of space for the motor. The only issue, issue is how I how I fit the battery the best way. Now I've done the second version of this uh, construction to hold the steering rod, but I'm not uh, still not happy because I have to make some waterproof uh, containment of the battery and motor and controller, and uh, it's going to be quite hard to get something around this. So I will 
cut this away again and then make another try. I think I will build from here instead and then make some kind of construction strong enough to hold the, the steering column and uh, then I also can make uh, some uh, stronger construction in the front and also make it uh, some kind of watertight or snow tight. Uh, so I will tear the cut this away again and make another attempt. Well, now the third attempt of this uh, support for the steering column is finished and this time I'm happy. I also uh, got the battery in place and the main contactor and you can see the motor fitted. Uh, I also managed to get uh, one millimeter plate here in front so it's all kind of tight now then I can easily make some kind of uh, box here in aluminum to protect the, the batteries and all the electronics the controller will be sitting on top of the motor you can see I'll make some uh, fixing points there and uh, hopefully with help with a fan and this uh, heat sink it's gonna warm up the batteries so I will get improved battery time in winter when it's cold. I also made this uh, plate, top plate, uh, and also some kind of uh, protection from the snow. Here you can see footrests so I can be standing on them, and it's uh, all made for not sticking snow to it. Same on the other side. Now I will. Uh, tear this apart and paint the frame and in next episode you will see me uh, making some uh, fitting and also this box and then I have some ideas how to make this uh, a bit nicer maybe with some aluminum plates and a headlamp and some small stuff and then hopefully I will get uh, the electronics running and make a little test on if we get snow. So hope you enjoyed and welcome back.